This is part four of creating a bomb in Unity. In the previous videos, we made the bomb game object, color change animation, and added an explosion force. If you need to start from the beginning, you can find the link in the description section. Here's what it should look like. If we hit play, the uh, bomb should start blinking and then it should send an explosion force that sends the bomb flying. Okay, if your bomb didn't fly up in the, in, in the air, it's because I added a rigid body right here. You can remove it or add component type rigid body and that will send it. And so the bomb will interact with uh, other bombs that are in the scene. Let's make a minor fix from the previous video. Um, I had you add the explosion script to the main camera. Let's go ahead and remove that from the main camera component and add it to our bomb component. So if we go to our scripts folder, we have the bomb selected. We drag that in between one of the components and it should add right up. We need to drag the bomb game object back into the field on the inspector in the bomb. And uh, this is so when we call destroy game object in this explosion script, it will destroy the bomb instead of the camera. So let's go ahead and go into, actually let's go to the asset store and make sure our particle of pack is downloaded. So go to the search bar, type unity particle pack and then you should be able to hit download and import. Pay attention to the warnings. If you've got a really big project, you might wanna open this up into a smaller pro project and then um, send packages to your bigger project from there. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit import. Since I've already imported this and I've, ins I've selected install and upgrade, I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip. And then this will be everything that we're importing but right here is what we're gonna be using, this big explosion prefab. It's in the prefab folder under fire explosion effects. I've already imported all of it. I didn't uncheck anything. And so I'll just go ahead and hit cancel. And it's over here in our particle folder. You can open it up. And under fire explosion, there's prefabs. And here is our big explosion that we can see in our scene view. If we double click it, Okay, mine, I've already turned off looping on all of the game objects in this prefab. You, you'll want to select down through the list and uncheck all of the loop, looping options. Now that we have our big explosion, um, we want to add it to our bombs and we're gonna do that through the script that we already have. Let's open that up and let's go ahead and type public game object then let's name this big explosion prefab. This is gonna be the way we can drag in the prefab into the inspector to uh, hold the place. And how we're gonna make this appear is with instantiate. So let's type it in, instantiate, can hit tab and then parentheses. And the first item in the instantiate, instantiate call is going to be for what we're actually going to instantiate. And we want to instantiate this big explosion prefab so you can Type it in or copy paste. The next one, you can see in the tip that it's saying transform parent. And so we're looking for a transform dot position of this game object. We'll want it to keep it the same as the position that the script is attached to, that, that game object position. And the next one, we want to do a transform dot rotation to keep the rotation the same. Let's go back to Unity and drag that prefab into our scripts or into the script on our bomb. So if we select the bomb, we can go ahead and lock the inspector so it doesn't change when we're selecting folders and go to the fire explosions prefab, big explosion, select it and let's find, there's our explosion script, drag it into our big explosion prefab. All right, let's hit play and see what, what happens. If we scroll out a little bit, Whoa, it's still creating explosions. In fact, the bomb prefab, I believe is still, uh, yeah, it's increasing its position um, in the Y direction by a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so let's see what we can do to fix that. We go ahead into our script and we aren't calling destroy. So if we call destroy this game object, it will destroy after it explodes. So let's do that. 
This is the line of code why, why we removed it from our camera and put it onto our, our bomb because we want the bomb to destroy after it gets exploded. So let's go back and hit play. And I think we've fixed that issue. Awesome, if you haven't created a prefab of this bomb, go ahead and create your own prefab folder. You probably wanna leave it out of the particle pack, just leave the particle pack as its own thing, create your prefab folder and drag the bomb in from there. Let's hit play and add more bombs to this scene. Because it has a rigid body, it will, uh, there we go, they'll interact with each other. You scoot this bomb a little bit closer. Cool. That's awesome, that's a really cool effect. If you notice, we keep getting big explosion clones in there and we'll want to uh, make something to erase those. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, how we remove those uh, explosion clones, let's, re let's create another script and we'll say, um, destroy game object or something. We'll just call it destroy, I guess. Let's open it up. And in the start, let's hit destroy game object. And then let's, okay, so it's asking for a float. Right now, let's do a 0 0.0f for five seconds and see if that fixes our problem. Let's go back to Unity go to our particle pack prefab, and let's add this on the script onto that. So we can lock the inspector, go to scripts, and drag on destroy. Let's go and play one more time and see if we've cleaned that up. Okay, the big explosion clones are destroying. That's awesome, we did it. I hope you were able to learn a bit about creating the explosion and instantiating particle effects for when game objects get destroyed. Um, it was a lot of fun. In the next video, I actually want to take this bomb and turn it into a cluster bomb. I look forward to doing that and I hope you guys do too. We'll see you guys in the next video.